All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis camp of the Great Millstone, and we're here to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Karkadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who rule well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akin who live in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and they are as follows. The tribe of Judah, the so-called Negroes, the tribe of Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, the tribe of Levi, the so-called Haitians, the tribe of Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, the tribe of Zebulon, the so-called Guatemalans, the Panamanians, the tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, the tribe of Gad, the so-called North American Indians. The tribe of Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians. The tribe of Naphtali, the so-called Argentinians, the Chileans. The tribe of Asher, the so-called Columbus, the Uruguayans. And the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. You would say Shalom? Shalom. All right, just going right into it. Yeah. Book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. When thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right. The true men of the Lord are going to be measuring the time diligently. All right. That means they're what? They're not going to slack. And how do you measure the times? You're paying attention to the to the to world news, local news. All right. You're, you're, you're paying attention to what's happening around the world and matching it up through what? The precepts of Yahweh Hashem El Shah, man. In these scriptures, all right? But you're filtering life through these scriptures. That's how we know the times that we're in. We know we're at the end, all right? By what? The wars, of uh, rumors of wars, all right? The, uh, uh, the up wars of the people, all right? Fighting against their governments, all right? The, that's how we know that we're at the end, man. All right? And the Lord's... Is what he's made. He's manifesting himself. He's visiting this place through what his plagues, all right, through his weather, uh, 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 through his uh, hurricanes and tornadoes, all right, uh, through uh, through a through people uh, burning down these uh, food processing plants, man, all right. So all this destruction that's coming upon the earth is what due to who? Yahweh Shemuel Shai, man. Right. Second Ezra chapter four, verse thirty-seven. By measure. Have he measured the time, and by number, have he numbered the time? Yep. See, We're, the Lord has a, he has these set bounds of things that are going to happen, and he's the one to set it all up. All right. That, like I said, we always go to this is his movie, this is his game board. All right. He sets the puzzles and the pieces together, man. How he said, sees fit. All right. Precept. And he doeth not stir, he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. Until the said measure be fulfilled, all right? So there are a point in time, like it says in Habakkuk 2 and 3, all right? You got that real quick? Go ahead. That's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right. Everything that's written in the scripture is going to happen, all right? Like I said, it's not moving off of our time, it's off the most high's time, all right? And that's why and that's why we are seeing things come to pass now. That's why the men of the Lord, we hey, we're excited. All right, because we're seeing like, oh, we are at the end end. All right. And we're starting to see that. But but once again, we had to wait for what? The appointed times of this time. All right. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and earthquake mm -hmm. and great noise and storm and tempest and the flame flame of devouring fire see and these are all these are all uh things that yahweh shemeshah brings uh, what these are these spirits of vengeance actually uses right are right, these are the plate matter of fact i get the sarak 40 and the you know yeah. Yeah. Hey, and, and then and then that, that latter part that that fire man with the nuclear missiles man but they got the tempest with the tornadoes you got hurricanes man you got all these what they call natural disasters, even though the Lord is he's, he's controlling these disasters, man. All right, and what plaguing the people with them, man? So, it's, it's a Sirach chapter forty, starting at verse eight. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. See, sevenfold more upon sinners, man. Cause we know what the wages of sin is death, Romans six and twenty three, right? Let's go ahead, verse nine. Death and bloodshed, mm -hmm. strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. 
these things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. See, all this destructive power that the Lord has and he uses it out of his arsenal, man, is, is appointed to the wicked, man. All right? And that goes to what? Two-thirds of our people and then the rest of these heathen, man, which they don't stand a damn chance, man. All right? And they said, there came the flood. You know, hey, and that's the reason why the flood came. You know, that was part of that uh, great destruction on the wicked people, man. Now, we know the next flood is going to be what? By fire. All right? Hey, somebody get uh, First Peter 4 to back up with John. Go straight to the point where it says the righteous and scarcely be saved. Oh, yeah. Right. Verse yeah. 4. Uh, First Peter, chapter 4, and verse 18. Yep. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? See? The righteous are who? The, the elect of the nation of Israel. You need those Latinos and Native Americans, man. All right? Now, if we scarcely be saved, lower with and of that of that fold, all right, uh, what about the unbelievers in the, in the uh, what was that last part said? First uh, Peter chapter 4 verse 18 And if the righteous scarcely be saved Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Where shall the ungodly and the sinner uh, appear? They're not going to appear They're going to be totally destroyed man All right, They don't stand a damn chance man So, so if the people that are actually doing the right thing They're going to barely make it out Come on you, you already know Hey man it's close hey, it's, You out of there man All right, That's unless you repent What do you say you're going to help you? No chance of hell. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mr. McMahon, when he's. No chance of yeah. hell. You got <laughs> no <laughs> chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You're fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what the Lord going to say to Esau? You're fire. Right. Yeah. Anybody have someone to go back and say that? Yeah, I think they'll fall for each other. Yep. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right, and we understand because what? We're diligently seeking. Right? Right? So we we see the things that are happening, mashing up the scriptures. Look, yeah, God, this this is it. All right, the Lord the Lord's visited, man, because he said he's gonna do these things in the in a certain time, man. And that's what's happening. That's why you see, like I said, the nations are going against each other. Everybody's building up for war. All right? There's nothing but uh, the spirit of uh, death out here, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, beginning at verse 9. Remember the former things of old. You know, this is the heavenly father speaking. For I am the most high, and there is none else. I am the most high, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Right. Everything uh, that's happening has been written before the world, the earth was even created, all right? He already had a set plan on what, how things were going to play out, all right? So, and he's going to do all his pleasure, right? Like, we keep on bringing up, hey, this is the most high's movie, man. This is all, he's going to do exactly to how he wanted the, the film to be directed, man, and how he wanted the movie to go, man, all right? But guess, guess what his movie's going to end up with? But the nation of Israel being saved, man. The rest of these heathen men going into slavery, man. Uh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Going to those, those uh, uproars of the people. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 9. Yeah. So even our Lord, your shall have my shot prophesied of these things. They say, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, right? Of course, we're hearing those wars and those rumors of wars. But like I said, that term promotions, which goes back to, in the Greek, askastasia, which means uproars, instability, you know, um, if I may, um, uproars and instability, and then there's another one, really quick, it's a disorder, confusion, tumults, you know, so a state of disorder, instability, disturbances, those are part of the uproars of those of the people of the world, right, and it said the earthquakes as well, I'm just going to read it to it. You said confusion, right? Yep. yep. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. and they say, but we shall hear of wars and commotions. Be not terrified. So the scripture say, he is not giving us a spirit of fear. Yep. Right? Because those me why. Because we being rebuilt, the city's being rebuilt to us, being what? We understand and know the game plan given from on high. So when these things come to pass, instead of being you know, fearful, you know, being ashamed or confused, we should be rejoicing. Because the most high is making good on his word. Right. She said that he was going to do. 
Right? So you're not supposed to be terrified. You're supposed to be rejoicing. For these things must first come to pass, so they must come to pass. Whether you want them to, want them to, or not. But they don't come to pass. So it's best for you to be on the right hand side of the house, you know, rejoicing when these things come to pass, or you're going to be on the left hand side where we're going to be condemned with the rip, rest of the wicked. And ultimately, we're appointed with the unbelievers. He's left behind. Yep, he's left behind. They say, but the end is not by and by. So even when all these sad things come along, the pestilence, the plagues, the earthquakes, diverse places, rumors of wars, all these prophecies, Jacob's trouble, all these things going to come to pass, they still say that the end is not by and by. So there's still more to come. You know? And, uh, well, that's why it says, well, the beginning of sorrows, exactly. right? Exactly. You know? So the beginning of these sorrows, right? You no, know, we got a beginning, a middle, and the end. Uh -huh. So you in the beginning stage of that, that means what? Things are going to get worse. They're not going to get better. Like right. it, we mentioned earlier, the build back better again. No, yeah. it, that, that's not going to happen. That's right. And also, that, that's a wickedness, too. That's, that's that 666. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's not going to be better. You're not going to be able to pray and, you know, everybody face this way, this, that, hold hands, like candle vigils. No, the Lord is not going to restore Babylon the Great. He's going to continue to tear it down that's like right. it was prophesied to me. That's right. Babylon cannot be healed. Mm -hmm. right. That's a right. good point. You see that? They still ain't bound back from the C-19. Nope. Right. Right. Nope. Right. Uh, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. Right. Yeah, you get you, right. Because these people have that illusion of free will. All right? But they don't know that, hey, the Lord, is, the Lord what he wants you to do is going to stand. All right? That's why everything we do is what? Lord willing. Right. We know the Lord is in control of us. You know? So she said this. You want to get that right quick and ask about uh, this council of men? Oh, yeah. Uh, Acts 5 and. Uh, I got it. Uh, Acts, uh, Acts 5 and uh, verse, yeah, verse 38. <clears throat> it say, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this council or this work be of men, it will come to God. But if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found even to fight against Yahweh Shaddai. That's right, and that's what Esau Edom is doing, though. He's trying to fight against Yahweh Shaddai. Shah by what? He's taking our pages down, you know, buffering the videos on our live streams, you know, lowering the quality just because we're bringing out their wickedness, man. All right? Don't forget the, don't forget the uh, space program. Yep, in the space program, yep. yep. Did I read that again? Like, it's a... Uh, Acts 5 and 38, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, he cannot overthrow it, lest happily he be found even to fight against the Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Like the Yahweh Bashim El Shah's will will be done, all right? Versus if, if, this, if we're just doing this on a, out, of, out of our own, for, own will, we, we, we would be taking off the streets, man. We wouldn't even be here preaching and teaching this word, man. All right, they, they, they would infiltrate, destroy this, and, and it would be no more. It'd be off to the next thing. Now, this is truly a Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's why it's the. That's why the word has gone through all over the world, whether it be in sign language and these other languages. You know, the word is out there, man. All right, the truth is, you know, the, who the true children of Israel are, man, and who and who Yahweh Shah, who the world call, even calls Jesus Christ, is here to save, man. That's right. Back in the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. That's right. So, so if, if there was a beginning, there's got to be an end, right? And, and we know, and, but we know the, the true end, the true end is what? going to be the nation of Israel. You know, uh, ruling uh, uh, forever and ever. Yep. Yeah. Well, waving like a champion. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. The second of the six and nine. Right. Yeah. So for, uh, I'm going to start at verse eight. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Mm -hmm. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed him. That's right. Hey, and then, you know that uh, the hand on the hill is symbolic, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's saying we still got a hold of you. No, we're, we're eventually going to overthrow you, man. All right, and that's what happened because Esau got his kingdom first. All right, but we're gonna we're gonna actually get 
the, the true fruits of Yahweh Hashem and Hashem, the whole earth, the galaxy, <laughs> everything, man. All right, because let's say Esau is the end, all right? So we know they're in the end times, man. They are not done away with the so-called white man is Esau Edom, man. All right? And Jacob is, is next to rule, man. That's right. That's why you get a... He said he's seven Abraham. I'm going to say, if I may add, he started that scripture, said, from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob. So that's a cut to you uh, Christians who think, you know, uh, other nations can be, uh, can partake of, of the kingdom of heaven. Right, righteously, you know, have that everlasting life. That everlasting life is only going to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Okay. There's no other name on on, on the gates in, in uh, Revelation 21, 12. That's right. Okay. Only uh, the names of Israel. No other nation. No other religion. And nobody believers. Yep, nobody <laughs> believers. Don't say Christians, none of that. Yep. All right? The other call this is uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Therefore, and patient and saint is, sorry, take and the time, patient time. saint is better than the proud in spirit. Take the time. Yeah, we're not in a hurry, but we take the time. It's Ecclesiastes 7. And hey, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Therefore, and the patient in saint, the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. That's right. Right. Because ultimately what? Remember, it's all about the patience and the faith of the saints, man. Yeah. We got to endure all this manner of wickedness, man, all the way to what? The end. All right? Because he that endured to the end, the saints shall be saved. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're not to be proud. You know, and, and, and puffed up, You're like we're, we're somebody now. You know, hey, you know, we call us what like the hopeful elect, man. Yeah, you know, you know, we're a piece of the puzzle, man. But we know the Lord can raise up any anybody else. You know, hey, we're out of the great mercy of God, Hashem, Hashem. We're out, out, out here able to have a chance at salvation, man. That's right. All right. But see, but we're what we're, we're patiently waiting on the end of Esau, Edom's kingdom, man. All right. Go ahead. Right. Let's say. I got this real quick in Daniel. Daniel chapter 12, verse 9. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Right? And then I jump down to verse 13. But go thy way. That lets you know we're in the end time. Right. Yep. yep. Now the words. Now, yep. Exactly. Yep. Ah, that's right. Go ahead, Chad. Okay. Say, but go thou thy way to the end be. Or thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So like like right. the other said, this is proven that hey, at this time, though know, the, the seal was sealed up, but then Yahweh came to the scene and he was the only one found worthy to to uh, un unseal the book, if you will, to right. release those seals. That's right. Right? So and we understand that what? We're in those end of days right now. We're in the latter times because the end started when he was on the scene. Yep. And when he went back. Now we two thousand years from in the future from that time period, we definitely in the latter times, in the end of the end, right. right? But like you said, go thy way, and then it say instead of thy life, and the day, prove what reincarnation, yep. right? Through the spirit, and we believe Daniel here prophesied. Like this is, this is you know what I'm saying? So it just proved that the understanding and all that was going to be, you know, uh, pretty much the understanding going to be unleashed through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach in these last days, in these right. end, in this end time, so to speak. Let me get this real quick. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It says, The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Uh, and it says, uh, uh, Is there anything whereof it may be said, See, this is new. It hath been already of old time, which was before us. And it also what? Hey, that reincarnation too, man. All right? Because, hey, we were, we, were back, we, were, we were back then, and now we're here today, man, in the same block, doing the same thing. All right? You know? And that's, and that's why I brought this out. Because, like I said, in the end, it's manifest. It is, yep. Manifest means to be made known. Yep. Right? And it's known, if you've, been, if you've been woken up through the Spirit, that you are in the end in the latter time. Yep. That we got just very few prophecies that come to pass until the end of this eon comes. Right? But we understand that the Lord, like I said, He'll do nothing but reveal the secret secret to his servant, the prophet. Right. right? So he gonna open the eyes of the elect. And like the brother said, we hope that we are the elect, but we see that we're in the end. We see this place crumbling. We seeing that the restoration is coming, you know, to Israel. Start right now with this truth being preached. You know what I'm saying? Being mm -hmm. preached out to the world. Of us having this truth. Right? Because exactly. you say Jerusalem gonna come down, right? Not talking about a whole damn building, a, a city gonna come from heaven, but the people. Because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. 
That's going to be the start of the restora restoration of Israel. That's right. Second Ezra 9, book of Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said peril and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So like you said, everybody that shall be saved by their faith and by their works ought to be where your, your faith and works come from from you believing. So, so yeah, so those people who will be saved to see the salvation of Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat. So, contrary to what the church tell you that law done away with and all this and that, you know, but then, well, what's your works then? Right. That's the works, you know, rehearsing the righteous acts of Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat being the law says commitments. So right. you sitting there just saying, I'm just going to believe and, you know, believe and then you got a pork chop in your hand, you know, you got your, your crab right. boils. What do you really believe what, what, in? What's your guidelines? Right. Yeah. What are you held to? What are you held responsible to? You know? Right. So your faith, you know, your faith comes with, you show your faith by your works. And then what James said, I will show my faith by my works. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you show, that, that that's the people that's going to be saved. Those who have the works in the faith, it will be because why? They truthfully believe in your how about Shah. Precept. I got that right. Yes, it's, it's the book of James chapter 2 and verse 18. It says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show show me my faith by my works. Right. So people will be that good service. I got faith, yeah, I believe, I pray, I do this, I repent, I do this and that. And ultimately that ultimately lip service. And yeah, then, so. they, then they say they repent, right? And then they go outside and strike the sick. Go and strike then they like they sick. But you say repent, right? To repent means that you stop doing that which you was that you stop doing that offense that you was committed against your house by Shabbat Shah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You were sorry for what you have done. That's right. You know? And right. that's why he said, you know, you, you say, well, I got faith, I got faith. <clears throat> but we can't see it. And I say we do things of men, but we're not seeing the works. Mm -hmm. But we show our faith by our works by what? Come out here to the highway just by the way, doing what's commanded, but also in our everyday life. That's right. Even we behind the scenes is not on camera. We still showing our faith by our works because we may go to a restaurant and want to get some eat and hey man, is that, that that hot dog beef or yep. is it pork? Yep. You know, yep. we yep. actually ask these things. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. we don't they, just they look at us with a, with a screw face. Yep. Yeah. Why yeah. I want to add right? Yeah. Like yeah. why why you do that? You know? But that's just going into like to the mindset of how we are. You know, saying not not just on camera screen screaming out doing this and that, but we actually pretend that to us of not being hypocrites. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So we showing our faith by our works by what. When anything that has to go, we 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 how our life go, we always try to tie it to the scriptures. What's lawful to do and what's unlawful to do. And we try our best to stay on the straight and narrow to do that which is right. By your how about you never shot? Alright. This is uh yeah, this is the book of Second Peter chapter one, verse ten, and it reads Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Verse 11, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right. All right, so yeah, it's just got to do your due diligence to make your calling of the lecture sure. And that word diligence so. goes into, it says, uh, and diligent, characterized by steady, earnest, and energetic effort. That's, That's right. going into that work that the brother was just right. talking right. about. Right. You know, showing your faith by your works. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Getting back to that. No, it's an energetic. Man, yeah. We gotta be lively stones, yeah. like the scripture says. Yeah. Yeah. Zeal. <laughs> zeal. You know? Yeah. And he says, For so an entrance shall be ministered uh, unto you abundantly un unto the everlasting kingdom of our uh, Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So by uh, doing our due diligence to, to make our calling of election sure, you know, he said it shall be uh, ministered to you abundantly. That's right. You know? You know, it's going to be uh, uh, ready to welcome you in, all right? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right, baby. Yeah, so. Okay. Remember at the end of verse 8, the second Ezra 9, you know, it, it was said that the Lord has sanctified, you know, these certain visuals known as the elect. All right, he sanctified them from the beginning for himself. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, beginning in verse 3. It says, Blessed be the power and, and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, in Hamashiach, according as he had chosen us in him 
before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Alright, it's only no throughout the scripture, no predestination of the thing. Alright, Yahweh Bashim Yashad has ordained certain individuals known as the elect, our order tabernacle or house of David, alright, to receive the blessing of salvation. Alright, and to be found before Yahweh Bashim Yashad without blame. Right? Because ultimately on this side they're covered. Alright? It says um in verse five, having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai and Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Right? Because ultimately though, the elect was predestined right, to be brought back into the good graces right, of the Heavenly Father, which his name is Yahweh, all right, through his only begotten son, which his name is Yahweh Shai. Alright, you know, that was the whole thing with Yahweh Shai sacrifice, was to bring back the nation of Israel to, back into the good graces of the Heavenly Father. Alright, but we know on this side, only the elect is going to uh, 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 reap the benefits of that. Alright? Verse 6 says, To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted and to be loved. You know, we hope we're of that number. That Yahweh Bashim Ashad accepts us, right, and we, we, we receive the blessing of salvation. All right? Yes, sir. This is back to uh, Second Ezra, uh, chapter 9, and verse 8. I'll, I'll start at verse 7 again. Verse 7, it says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for, for me from the beginning. Right, so the elect has been predestined to receive salvation before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. And then also said from the said perils, that right there just shows proof that what? It's going to be a trying and troublesome time that's going to come to the inhabitants here on earth via right. Jacob's trouble. Right. So just like, a, what's that, Second Timothy 3 and 1? Is it perilous time? Okay, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Got this real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So it will be a time like never before. Right. A, a catastrophic, apocalyptic, you know, time that's coming to the, to the earth. But it says what? At the end, that Jacob, the elect of Israel, they're going to be saved out of them. Right. But guess what? They still going to be here and got to go through it. Yep. So that cuts your whole, that Christian preacher relation, the first half of the leg get picked up in the first right. three and a half years, the and you come back and get the rest. Right. No, the elect don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. The, the same thing is tribulation. That, that's, not, that's not scriptural. No. That's not biblical. But what is biblical is going to be a time like that before. As a matter of fact, bro, can you can read that in the NLT? Ah. My faith, I love that. Yeah, Jeremiah 37. Because this, this is what's coming to the world, right? Things get bad, but it's going to get horribly. Like we spoke earlier, the beginning of sorrows, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And when you say world, you're talking about the whole entire, entire world. Yep. John 316. Right. Oikoman. Oikoman. Right. This is uh, Jeremiah 37 in the NLT. In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. See, in all history. You got, you got Google, you got your phone, go just look up, you know, ter you know terrible times, gruesome yeah. times, you know, say, just just look up a whole bad time that uh, that the world has ex experienced, right? And they're not going to ever amount up, it's not going to amount up altogether to what's going to come when Jacob trouble him. That's right. Go ahead, brother. I just got it over. This is Jeremiah 37. In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people, Israel, yet in the end they will be saved. So you two-thirds over here just want to live life and get along and go along, you know, kiss master's ass, whatever the, whatever the case you may be, whatever the case may be. Well, you will get caught up in this time of trouble, right? Let's say, because y'all not even prepared. Y'all don't even care to even take heed. Yeah, you got these Edomite preppers who they see some things coming down the pipe, but they don't have the full picture. Right. Shit, they still get caught up in that too. But you two thirds, y'all gonna get caught definitely as a thief in the night. Because like I said, you you just you just sitting up, living up here, dwelling carelessly and comfortable, right? But it's gonna be a time period that's gonna be like I said, never before, a horrible time, a, a, a tumultuous time right. that's gonna come to the entire world, and you're gonna be in it. <laughs> you said you're gonna be here. He said you. That's, what, that's what's coming to the world. Jacob's trouble. Time like never before. But again, as I said, the elect, like we read earlier, that the righteous spiritually be saved. See, the elect will be saved out of that time period. 
there's gonna be scarcity, like just by the skin of their teeth. Like we said, for the others, you have no chance. That's right. No mm-hmm. indeed, we gonna be found as stuff. That's right. No chance. That's right. Yeah. No chance. No chance at all. So, <laughs> so that's just coming to the world. And then, like I said, that's right. And then, and then y'all trying to say the old testament going away with them. But this ain't came to pass yet. Right. That's even right. The, even the sp- speaking about the kingdom coming. That's an old testament too. It ain't came to pass yet. Nope. How the hell are they going to say the old testament is done away with? But hell, the scripture would say the earth shall reel to and fro like a drum. When does that happen? Right. Right. So, when, right. right. <laughs> There's a pl- plethora of chapters yeah. in the old testament that has not came to pass yet. Hey, right. then I wish I said come in the volume of the book. Right. 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 Come on, man. He's the eye and the thought. That's right. And just to make a quick mention of that, this time period gonna be so bad, you know? This time period gonna be so bad that Michael, even the archangel, is gonna come down to preserve and protect the people of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel. So that just, you know, just ponder upon that. Right. A time period coming like never before. They said the only way you're gonna be delivered out of from the sin things that you're gonna see if you're the elect is being an elect and just having that faith. That's right. Hope that the Lord delivers. You can do all your prep and make a deal. You do this, you can do that. I got that, I got this and that. But if you don't have the spirit of your house, by should shine on you. As far as that head of protection, your ass is finished. That's right. Finished. That's right. Hell, for you Roman Catholics, you can put your little idol of Michael all you want, man. That's man. Not going to help. So, back, back in Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 9. Then shall they be a pitiful case. Which now have abused my way. Right then, the people who blew, use the ways you have by Shema Shai is those who was given to, which be you two thirds, two thirds of you Israelites. Right. You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Y'all gonna be in a pitiful case. Yeah. Right? Y'all gonna, y'all gonna experience what the heathens experience. Right. right. You gonna experience the, the death and destruction and calamities of the uncircumcised. Right. Because you are uncircumcised in the spirit. That's right. That's right. That's right. Precept. Yeah. And don't, don't forget about it. Uh, Esau, just, he the man one that abused the Lord's right. ways. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nope. He don't want to get all this sodomy out here, and, you know what I'm saying, just blatantly just disrespecting the Lord's word, period. Right. Nope. Precept. Like the Lord said, well, what does God do to prepare my statue? Yep. Right. Precept. It's the uh, book of uh, Proverbs 13, verse 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. Yep. yep. So it's just going to back the brothers up, you know. Those who are despising the words of the Lord, which are coming from the prophets, you know, the great men of GMS, and those who teach the likewise doctrines, you know, the bishops and elders. If you're despising this word, you know, you're going to be destroyed. And, and But for those who are taking heed to the words and turning away from their sins and coming back to the, the ways of the Heavenly Father in the name of Yahweh, Bashim uh, sincerity and truth, you shall be rewarded. And what is that great reward that we're all looking for? We're looking for salvation, right? Being up into those chariots. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you got people out there that don't know nothing about the Israelites or the apostles. They just blatantly just despise them the Lord's word. Nope. Right. Even, in the, even the people in the church, yep. they just despise the Lord's word. Like like Chad mentioned earlier, they leave out of service to them walk out the door. They walk up the yep. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They just five in the world work, going to eat, going out to eat, and then they get those smothered potatoes, right. those smothered uh, pork chops. Right. It ain't what goes in that the falcon will come down. Right. That's just five in the world work, right? Half a rack of pork ribs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Say whatever you eat, just pray over. Yeah. yeah. What well, that's yeah. in the scripture. Yeah. Right. So what that means, what they give, they will add to the word. Yeah. Yep. Go. Word yep. don't say nothing about you just praying over whatever abomination <laughs> is okay. Y'all <laughs> add them to that. Y'all that's right. Those curses. That's written within the book of without. They're going to be a part of mm-hmm. Like Gino Jenner. He despised the Lord's word. Go. He got the Bible in his face and tell the people it's okay to eat the pork. Right. What? I won't. Go ahead. Yes, sir. You got something else? No. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 9, back at the top. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. So mm-hmm. because y'all come in the spirit of Esau Eden. That's what I said. What have y'all done to declare my statue? Mm-hmm. Right. Despite his ways to cast them behind you, y'all come in the same spirit of Esau Eden. Now yeah, you know. Four and four. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. So you know it, and you and we we take up talk about that all the time. The judgment that Esau Eden gonna receive, you're gonna be right in line with him to receive that death and destruction. Mm-hmm. You come in that spirit of you, you know, you the Lord's way, you just, Pretty much think they have not. Just cast them behind. Oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, whatever. What they say? You got to die someday. Yep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you got to die someday. Yeah. Even in that, them Christians, even that, they say even in the Christian church, that's not true. All right. So there's a lie that should not taste death from their birth. Right. Right. You see, so a lot of people just say this Christian church is a hell of a drug, a horrible drug to be on. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But they said that you people who despise the Lord, the Lord's law, it's a punishment, it's a penalty for doing those things. There's going to be those calamities and the devastation of the war and destruction is going to come upon you from your, uh, from your disobedience and, re and uh, rebellion. That's right. right. That's right. Second measures 9 and 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known them, and they that have owed my law while they had yet liberty, and when a yet place of repentance was opened unto them, which is I right there, right? Yep. The men being presented out there, the highways and byways, giving them the video of this. Mm -hmm. Right? The Spirit, we teach you, we tell you to repent, to come back to your house by Shabbat Shabbat, forsake your wicked ways, and come back to the Lord so you be preserved in this perilous time. Right? But y'all despise it, man. Y'all loathe that. Y'all hate that. Y'all hate it. Then we tell you that you're the chosen children of the chosen of race or people of the high about you now shine. Y'all hate to hear that. But what about the white people? What right. about them? You know what I'm saying? Y'all care about people that don't even give a damn about y'all. Yeah, right, man. But then, but y'all don't raise up, you know, y'all come up against us pulling guns out on us. Well, they'll pull the guns out of Esau Edom, but y'all do it to us. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're the people you should be mad at. You know what I'm saying? Not, no, like I said, we ain't about, you know, about violence or whatever the case may be, but like the recent thing that happened with that, that you know, going out to them churches, which was yep. out of order. Yep. But what they do, they came out, you know, with gun, gun, pulling out guns, hitting, hitting them with shoes, with heels and stuff like that. Man. And then said, look, we're going to call the satirics. They're going to call Esau Edom to quarrel what they seen as a prop. Yep. The word coming out. You yep. know, but that's how these people walk. Just think of that Jake with Steve, he shot that dude from how you want to see Yeah, in the head. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With all that commotion going on, he's pointing guns, right. shooting's coming at him. He the sneeze on him, accidentally pulled that trigger, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like that. They wanted to have a shot out the yep. way, too, man. Yep. That's our people, man. So give it for Robinson. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Trigger murder, man. So, so we understand that, look, then if he did, that, that man would have did something, if something would have happened, he'd have got locked up on the case with he would have been saying, free him. A lot of the men is actually teaching, you know, teaching the truth, and you have about you never shot. Yep. You know, but things happen when you do things out of order. So uh, yep. that's a judgment that comes to pass upon it, right. you know. But uh, going back into like in these, in these, uh, this precept, like I said, we the ones that's telling you that you still have, uh, through the Spirit of the Lord, that you still have a way back. You still can't repent if the Lord draws you back into repentance, mm -hmm. right? But it said what? They, go ahead. It says, it says, understood not. But despise them. But here's the thing, though. Here we is sitting here trying to break it down, make it play the upon ta tables for you to understand. But you didn't want to hear that. So that, that, that's just something that y'all completely bugged out. They say you understood or not, you despise it. You, know, this, you despise something that you don't understand. That's crazy. Because yep. we sitting here trying But now, of course, I'm not going to bend over backwards. We're going to show you what it says and what it is, what the word of the Lord saying. But if you don't want to receive it or you want to accept it, hey, we'll, we'll go up the street somewhere. Or, or, or go click on the twerking video or... Right. You know, go watch a seafood seafood boy. Go do what your heart's desire to do, because it's not to, it's not to fulfill the will of your high about shot. Right, right. Hey, just like the brother going into. Hey, we're here to bring this word out, whether you hear it or forbear. Yep. All right. So hey, we 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 out here getting the blood off our hands. Because you know, they say, "Well, y'all, y'all do that do that for y'all health." Actually, yeah. Yeah. They said to get the blood off our hands, yeah. and also we're doing it because this this is what we want to do to the spirit. You know what I'm saying? We rejoice in being exposed and opened up to this truth because this was not an understanding. Coming back to our heritage. That's, right. That's something to be rejoicing about. Be joyful. Jo joyful. Of. But y'all don't like that. Right? Y'all love being in the stupor, being captives, being depressed. The longest ass to give you a paycheck every week or two, you okay. That's right. right. Somebody get Jude 1 and 10. <laughs> nah, 10. The book of Jude mm -hmm. 1 and 10. Back up 10. This is the book of Jude, 1, verse 10, and it reads, But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as group beasts and those things that they corrupt themselves. Mm -hmm. Right. And that, that's what they do. You, you talk to they just, just, just want to talk shit because you got a mouth. Right? <laughs> right. right. That's what they do. You just talk shit, murmuring, you know, talking shit, mocking, scorning. But they say you speak evil of things that you know not. Y'all crazy, y'all speak and y'all talk back against restoration. Y'all think the reparations that y'all want, 
that's going to come from your how about Chanel Shire when we take these devils and put them underneath us as captains. That's right. The rest of these nations. Right. This will be teaching that you're going to come back. You're, going, you're the Lord's chosen people. You're going to be set up on high, and all these nations are going to be subject to you. But you hate that. Right. You don't want to hear that. Everybody should be equal. We should be on the same. The Lord ain't, he's a separatist. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's why he said, I chose you to be a holy, holy people unto myself. I got that. Mm -hmm. You got to be retarded, man. Right. <laughs> We're telling you that the Lord died for you and that the kingdom of heaven is being set up for you. Yes, but instead, you get mad and want to jump on the men, Lord, and then ask, well, What about the white man? Right. And, and, then, and then the nigga, what, what the nigga say? It, it's a downgrade to be an Israelite. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, man. Right. But they can see, like, like they, uh, they like the natural brute beast. And I think in 2 Peter, they say, What? They made to be taken. Yep, yep. You know what? You a brute beast, you. Pretty much, you run out of understanding. Are you high about Shema Shai? Meaning, you dead. Then you are gonna physically be dead when the destruction comes, when right. your judgment comes to pass. Right. But y'all wanna talk shit about stuff you don't even know what's going on. You just wanna talk shit about it. Like I said, cause you got the damn mouth. Yep. Well, remember, right. remember the Lord said that an ox and an ass got more sense. Right. Than right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just dumbass. Yep. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, stop right, doing right. this so that you may be saved or continue to eat that. Well, I want to eat this. It's mother than, like, this mother. It's, you got yeah. the, the Cajun, the Lowry season on yeah. it. It tastes yeah. good. Right, uh, eat this. The Lowry and the Creole. The Lowry yeah. and the Creole. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes good, though. It tastes good. You know. Cap Saison. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so you to appease your wedding appease your yeah. is going to send you to your bed. That's uh, right. That's yeah. right. It's Isaiah 30 and 12. What, wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise these words and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach, ready to fall, swelling out in highway and high wall, whose breaking coming suddenly at, at, at an instant. That's right, man. Hey, you ones that don't want, you ones that don't want to. Uh, Come back to the law of commandments of the Heavenly Father that want to constantly despise his words. A hey, judgment is going to come upon you instantly. All right? You're going to see it. Like the brother who just said, Jacob's trouble is like no other time on earth. So, hey, judgment is going to be going out heavily in that time, man. All right? Instantly. All right? The Lord is going to destroy you people, okay? Because you want to, for the, for the lack of not want to come back to these, these law of statutes and commandments and the understanding of these scriptures, man. All right? Right. You got to let your sin upon sin totally destroy y'all, man. All right? All right? Because y'all... That's why, that's why John 3 and 19 talk about the light that's coming in the world, man. But people love darkness rather than light, you know, roughly paraphrasing, man. So you so said instantly, so since you right. people like instant grits and hips and oatmeal, that's <laughs> right. The Lord got instant missiles for us. That's right. 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 <laughs> you know, you know, if you want this smoke, you know. want this smoke, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but but like I said though, it's it, it, it perverted. You trust the pressure. Yep, yep. I'm okay. Well, there's a white man saying I'm okay with it, right? But you'd be they'd be on you know social media talking shit against them. But in their heart, they really for what what the white man wants. Yep, right. Because yep. then we stop. Well, they devils. They this. They, 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 they Well, not all of them. Yeah. You know, some of them are good. You know, ain't no such thing as a good Edomite. Nope. You got the Edomites that well, you got the the Jakes that look like Edomites. Those be what could be considered that good, you right. know what I'm saying, because they come up with the right to see. But as a whole, ain't no either my good. None That's of them right. good. You know what I'm right. saying? But you trust that oppression, because you done been over here, like we always say, you've been over here in the West too long. Been in Babylon the Great too long. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You're just an old, tired dog. Whatever Master says you do, you just do it. Yep. Hey, but that's true, because remember, going back to the C-19, Trump said, drink some bleach. And what Jake do? Drink Drop up. a whole gallon of bleach. Yeah, yeah. about to die. I'm about to die. Ah. So, <laughs> But like, but like you say, they chose death rather than life. You know? So you choose death, you choose these eaters, you choose, you choose, you make Esau your guy, you choose him. The nigga that can't save himself. He gonna die too, guess what? You just trust him and lean on him, you gonna die. But instead of choosing life, which is what? This wisdom, God's understanding, ultimately choosing, you know what I'm saying, which the spirit had where the Lord gotta put it on you to choose him, because you can't just say, well, you know what, I was, the day last week, I was just, you know, selling drugs and smoking cigarettes and that. But now I choose a certain Lord. You know, I choose a certain Lord now. No, the Lord has to choose you to come into this thing. I got it.
No. No, I'll wait. Okay. This, this is the book of Proverbs. This is to back you up. This was to back you up, you know, when he said, are we doing this for our, our help? You know, right? It's like, yeah. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 20, and going down to verse 22. It says, my son, attend to my words, incline thy ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Verse 22. For they are life unto those that find them and help to all their flesh. Yep, so just to back you up, like you said, you you going out and you part the ways and doing the ways of this world, you know, you are leading, you're, you're, you're actually wronging your own soul, you know, and you, you're leading to destruction. You're being led into destruction by the ways and the philosophies of Esau, Edom, and those of the world. However, Yahweh Bashim HaMashah said, you follow and you, and you uh, incline your ears and, and do His will, then it will lead you to the path of life. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, another one brings up the This is uh, John 15 and 16. Ye have, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go, go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Said, you can't go and say, well, you know, I chose a certain Lord. You know, they get 50 years old. I chose a certain Lord. Or even at a younger age, well, the Lord is my shepherd, this and that. I chose to serve him. Well, this scripture said, he, he has not chosen me. I have chosen you. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a specific remnant of Israel that has been chosen to come mm -hmm. to this, this truth and receive this knowledge and ultimately receive salvation in the end all be all. Right? So if people say, well, I chose the Lord, I chose the Lord, then like we said earlier, then, uh, you know, they, they got the uh, recession downstairs, pork butt every day of where. Right. And, they, you know, right. filling up with pork, spare ribs, pork hot dogs, but you said you chose the floor. No. Or, or they'll sit there and say, on June 3rd, 1918, I found Christ. Right. 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 Like, like the Lord was lost. Right. You know, right. I came into my life. <laughs> <laughs> changed my life. And I've been serving them ever since. That's what they've been serving. That's how they found, bro. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 11, back at the top. And they that have loathed my law while they yet have, li have liberty, and when, I place, and when I as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, the same was known after death, death by pain. pain. So all y'all who despise the law, the ways that you have about you, my child, spoke scorn of it, forsook him, said he is not. Well, you're going to all die a horrible, tremendous death. And it's going to be by pain. Right. Like I said, there ain't going to be no, well, I'm just going to go to bed and hopefully I die in my sleep. No, you're going to feel this. Because <laughs> should you make me land down, then your damn cell will fall on top of that. That's right. Hey, you know, <laughs> guys, you know, I just watched a video. Somebody sitting yep. there. Somebody sitting there watching TV. And they damn, they damn uh, cell fell on top mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Like, like that breach ready to swell out the That's wall. right. <laughs> right? Instantly. You yeah, ain't see, yeah. see it coming. No. You know, but hey, in this comfort. Yeah. Right? Like the in this comfort. Yeah. Doing this, you know, dying in this comfort zone. Yeah. It's a scary. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so all those who don't want to serve you, how about you know what I'm You know what I'm saying? And you can find his legs and talk all this shit and be a pocket and mourn and discernment. Well, guess what? Judgments are prepared for you. I'm right. right. saying, what? Well, if you go die, you're going to experience death by pain. So right. you're going to feel it. Right. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 13. <laughs> and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. Because Jake always, you know, because Jake always talking about, so what about these people? Right. What about those people? What about this nation? What about that? What about them? Man, don't worry about them. Precept. Right? right? You know, what do you want to say? Says, uh, well, and therefore be thou not curious. Right. <laughs> It says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Right. And that's how you, how you require. You gotta be, you gotta be, oh, somebody give real quick Proverbs 8 35. I got it. Right? right. Yep. Sure. Oh, yeah. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. And shall obtain favor of the Lord. But the only way that you can do that, right? Yeah, of course, the Spirit of the Lord got to be put upon you, but you have to be taught. 
There has to be a, a preacher, you know, a teacher or a prophet that are to teach you the ways you have about Shemel Shah. And how you seek him daily by what? By the video epistles, the counts, you know, you reading your own time, you know, the, the spirit being put upon you to search out the scriptures, to be, to be a, what can be apt to work, right? To be built up, then you be apt to teach. But like I said, you gotta daily be, you know, searching for the way for the videos, you know, the lessons, whether the breakdowns, just the learning or the history, whatever the case may be, always put your mind in, in Attain the wisdom and knowledge that you have about Shemel Shai, be it the scriptures, ultimately with this truth. You know? But he that sinneth, sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. But he that sinneth against me. Right. But, but he that sinneth against me. Oh, I thought the law was done away. Right. But he that sinneth against me. Right. Wronging his own soul. So you you said against your Abba Shemel Shai, man, that's, uh, that's on your debt. Yep. That's on you. Yep. Like what they said uh, to that's Judas. Me, baby. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. What, what they said to Judas Iscariot. Hey, what's that to us? Yeah. 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 Hey, what's that to us? Yeah. Yeah. And your actions against your Abba Shemel Shai, right? And yeah. what did they say? All they that hate me love yeah. death. Love death. So meaning what? How do you show that you love your Abba Shemel Shai? Right? I follow his commandments. That's right. So what's the opposite? Hate. How you show that you hate you have about Shemeshai? Forsaking his ways. You know what I'm saying? Not, not following after his ways and his commandments. That's you showing that you hate him. Therefore, what? You're going to receive the, the judgment and the reward of what? Death. And that's why there's not going to be any mercy upon two thirds of Israel because he gave you the, 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 the wisdom. Well, he gave you the, what you're supposed to be doing by the guidelines. All right? This law, statute, commandments, man. Well, that's why y'all mentioned earlier. Uh, they that love my law. Yep. 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 They say by what? By two or three witnesses, you would judge without mercy. <laughs> yep. Imagine all the witnesses against you right now. Man. Mm. 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 Been the Lord teaching you of the thing of the law, statutes, commandments of what to what ought to do and what not to do. Yep. Even the world itself was a witness against you. And on right. the eye about you not that's seeing what you're doing. Yep. So all these witnesses are against you. The angels. Yeah. Yep. The yep. angels. It, it, all yep. that. That's right. So it's best for you to, you know, hey, Spirit, you know, the Lord put on you. It's best for you to inquire how the righteous shall be saved and not how the ungodly shall perish. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Just to finish off. Back in 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 13. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is, and for whom the world is created. Right? It's, it's good to say that the world was made for our saints. That we know ultimately, for first in this time period right now, it's made for who? The elect. That's why when you have a you have a shy, you know, King David. The rest of the other 4,000, 4, the numeral multitude, that's you know, going to be saved. It's made for them right now this time. But, of course, you know that all Israel are going to partake in the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem el Right? So the whole world, everything, either the world, the cosmos, the universes, all these was ultimately first was made for Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but being joint heirs has been given unto us as well. That's right. So everything right. was made for the sakes of the Israelites. Yeah, all right, yeah, this is the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse uh, 12. Uh, this is going back to what you were just reading. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and privilege. Right, okay, so that's uh, pretty much what he's saying. You know, be not curious of those who uh, who, who not uh, from the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, work out your own salvation, all right? And then you do that by what you said earlier, you know, doing your due diligence to make it all good of your election sure. All right. And they said what too? And what my presence, my, and not my presence only. So hey, even for the you know, so you know, so the hopeful elect, right? Uh, we're not just the the men of the Lord, uh, you know, on the highways and byways, but on our daily life, man. Yep. Right. All right. Behind closed doors, when no one can see, but you how about Shemel Shah, man? Right. All right. Uphold his righteousness every day of the uh, week, man. Yep. You know, not just once a day. Mm -hmm. Not being a hypocrite. That's yep. right. That's right. All right. Uh, verse 13, for it is Yahweh which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Right. So, uh, once again, you know, that goes back to what, you know, uh, we were saying earlier, you know, you haven't chosen him. He's, cho yep. he's chosen you. That's right. All right? You, of, of his elect, you know, of his, this, the, the elect is all of these after right now. All right? Hey, right, bro. Yeah. That's, that's why, why Yahweh said, uh, those that you have given me, uh, all right, all right, with that, we hope this lesson was edifying for the body. Once again, we
want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird. To you we say Shalom. 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 Ba ba ba. 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 Ba ba ba